Et donc pour la FEN. Donc là, je vous rappelle, c'est une initiative, hein, donc Manuity Safe Pack Initiative, qui a été victorieuse, qui est maintenant avec un million d'eux, qui est en cours de discussion avec la Commission européenne sur, donc, des, pour élaborer des projets de loi. Ce qui m'intéressait le plus, c'était effectivement de les avoir aujourd'hui avec nous pour qu'ils nous disent où ils en sont dans la discussion et quels sont en gros les projets de texte qui pourraient être votés ou adoptés par le Parlement européen ou les modifications de directives qui pourraient nous impacter, nous, dans le bon sens du terme, pour avoir des droits qu'on pourrait revendiquer. Parce qu'aujourd'hui, c'est pas la peine. On voit bien que la situation est assez bloquée en France. Donc si, là, c'est intéressant. Bon, écoute, Banner. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I have to continue on English, but that will then be translated into your own language. I will start to tell something about our budget in the FUEN because it had something to do with the Hungarian uh, country. So FUEN has a budget in the year of about 1.3 million euro, 500,000 euro is coming from the state of Germany in Berlin and these money are project money. So we get only money when we create a project, then we get money from the German government. So what we get from Hungarian is 500,000 euro too. But it's very pleasant, this money, what we get, because we have to make accountant, we have to tell what we use the money for, but we can, in this year, we get the money, use it as we like. So that's how we survive in Fuen is with the money from the Hungarian government. It's very pleasant. So greetings, take greetings to your country. So you see, my name is Barne Barnsen. I'm a vice president in Fuen, and I work with the financial situation for Fuen. I'm quite new in this job. I was elected in June 2019, and I am also uh, the chairman of the North Friesian minority, the Friesk for Ini, in Germany. So I'm always calling myself a European North Friesian living in Germany. Thank you very much for inviting me here to your uh, Congress here today in Brittany. And it is a pleasure for me to be here. And I will always also say thank you very much. Attila, you made an excellent presentation here. Okay. I like that. Thank you. The Federal Union of European Nationalities, also called FUEN, is the largest umbrella organization of autochronous national minorities in Europe. We have 107 member organizations in 35 countries, and we were founded in 1949 in Paris. And I can tell you, as we heard in the beginning, that two of the founders, one of them is Joseph Matre, he was a journalist, from Brittany, he died in 2009. He did a great job there. And Pierre uh, Lemont was also a founder of Fouen in 1949 uh, in Paris. Thank you very much to them. And so we have together with them 70 years of experience now. Fouen promotes and empowers identity, language, culture, rights and uniqueness of minorities in Europe. We have a 70 years of history behind us and in our business working with minorities things can happen very, very, very slowly. You probably know, probably know much about that. We Frisians have been for more than 2,000 years in, in Europe and still things work very, very, very slowly. And you probably know that too, we meet a lot of resistance in our own country and we do it in Europe. But then suddenly some minorities have developed rights 
and autonomy and self-government much faster than we could imagine. Such as the Basque country and the South Tyrolians, Südtiroler in Italy, or the Sorbs in Germany after the fall of the Berlin Wall. But unfortunately, as we heard a lot of Attila in Europe, we have still a lot of minorities who do not have enough sovereignty as they would deserve. Of course, every minority has to work for their own rights and fight for their languages and culture. But I feel that it is always a good idea to use some percentage of the energy with cooperating together with other minorities or one other minority. We North Frisians, of course, we work together with the East Frisians, with the West Frisians in the Netherlands. That's a cooperation there, naturally. But also for 70 years, we have worked together with the Danish minority in Schleswig-Holstein in Germany. Uh, and we work together with the German minority in Denmark, which are on the other side of the border, and we have a good cooperation also in Schleswig-Holstein with the Sinti and Roma. And I also work together with the Sinti and Roma, Romani Rose in Germany. So it's very good to sometimes to sit together in one room when you have to make negotiations with the state or representatives of a state then we can protect each other when we sit together. And it makes also sense that the Catalan and the Scottish nationalities work very close together. They have nearby the same size, they have the same ambitions, and the Scottish could have a national referendum, but the Catalan not. And both countries are members of the European Union or they, as the Scottish, were members, member of the European countries. But still, no one of us, even how we are treated, can accept political prisoners in Europe in 2020. So what we can see is that every European country treats their minorities differently. That is what we are working for to change in Fuen. And there we have some working groups. We have the German minorities. They are meeting each other twice a year and work together. The Turkish minorities work together. The Slavic minorities in Europe work together. And I created some years ago, we created a non-kin <coughs> state minority group, minorities without a motherland. So we meet twice a year, last time it was two, three months ago, two months ago in Romania, and we could travel into the country. I'm not sure we can go back there now <laughs> afterwards, but we met there in Constanza by the Black Sea and had a meeting there, very good. Uh, and we were invited by the Aromones who live there with one, two hundred thousand people in Constanza. Uh, and we have an education working group. Everyone can join that. Um, then we have each year, FUEN has an annual congress. We will, uh, we will see a film uh, later on about that. That was 2019 in Bratislava. And when you see the film, don't think that we just are eating and drinking and singing and making music. We are also working there, very responsible. So, but the film shows a lot of other stuff, uh, which is more funny, but that's good too. Then we create in Europeana, it's a huge project. It's about a budget of one million euro. Uh, that is soccer, football. We, in German, we say Fußball. Uh, English, they say soccer. Uh, 23 minorities fight against each other on the football on the soccer plane. So it will be in June 2020 in Kärnten, Carinthia in Austria. Um, that's a funny uh, thing. When, 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 when I ask for something back in North Frisia to join, 
something with minority, it's normally very difficult to say to people, go that, do that, let's join that. But when we say, okay, there's football in, in Camden, 30, 50 people have their hands up and say, oh, we can, we can join that, we can go there. It's very easy and even it's easy to collect money for, for this football event. So we send, uh, I think, something like 20 people in a bus, footballers going down there playing football. Soccer. That's 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 a good idea. So the, I want only about. We have a lot of topics in Fuen, but I will not bore you with that. So I will only concentrate on one key topics, and um, that is our minority safe pack, also called the MSPI. And our vice president uh, Gosta Toft, he will tell you uh, more about that just in a few minutes. Let me, at the end, uh, with a few words about minorities and Fuen, say that it is very important what I feel. Al already my father worked for minorities and my grandfather worked for minorities in North Friesland. 